Hey, hey, welcome back to the Let's Play. The countdown to the big 100 episode mark begins, my friends. We are on episode 96 overall, or episode 29 in season two, if you want to look at it that way. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that I want to get done before the episode 100 map download. First of which is finally making the panda sanctuary that is going to reside in this large space here. We are essentially going to custom landscape a few bits into existence. Maybe a lake. Maybe we put down a bunch of bamboo again. Maybe we plant some 2 by 2 jungle trees. Basically restore the wildlife around here. And more to the point, finally allow our pandas here, Buttons and Carolan, to be able to just waltz around to their heart's content. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we make ourselves maybe a couple of tents for the pandas to seek shelter in, should it be raining of course. And then and pretty much we're just gonna do the whole operation restore wildlife thing around here all of that after going ahead and bordering off the area so the pandas can't escape we want them to be free range but not like super free range to the point where they could just like waltz off and die you know so in terms of fencing off this area i'm thinking we go for a very similar design as to what we've got surrounding our massive original cave system here we've got ourselves leaves we've got ourselves some of these here a deep slate brick walls and well that's just about it really so why don't we go ahead and make a bit of a start on that? And while we're in the process of doing this, I do, of course, want to say a huge, huge thank you for all of your wonderful support throughout this series. And I really do appreciate more so your patience as of late. I'm very much aware that there hasn't been an episode of this series for some time now. And, well, as for a reason behind that, two things. Number one, I did a complete and total office overhaul slash reshuffle. And secondly... My sleep routine has been really quite poor lately, so yeah, both of those contributed to me not really making any videos as of late. However, we have not been idle since the last episode. Oh, no, 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 no. We have done not one, not two, but three live streams from this world since the last episode of this series here. And at the end of today's episode, my friends, I figured what I'd do is I would basically catch you folks up as to what we did in those live streams. Only I'm well aware that there may be some of you folks out there who haven't been able to catch the live streams and maybe don't have the time to catch a two-hour VOD. So, yeah, I'll show you guys what I did in those live streams by the end of today's episode. How does that sound? So in terms of the design here, we're going for something very, very simple. We want to be able to keep the pandas in at all times, right? But I still want to have a nice amount of greenery along the way here. So yeah, we've got bushes. We've got little sort of, I don't know, stacked up bushes along some of these here, which is pretty awesome. Maybe we don't necessarily have to have them all be the same shape, eh? Yeah, and then I'm thinking maybe along these little deep slate brick wall areas here, maybe we could have ourselves some lampshades. I thought that could be a nice idea. Yeah, we've got the little campfire ones here, but I'm thinking maybe we could have some lights that actually illuminate the inside of this area, for example. All right, looking pretty good so far. We've used the combination of mangrove and oak leaves just for a little bit of texture variation, which I think looks pretty cool. Now all we need to do is we just need to block off this back section. Section. That should be a relatively straightforward job in that we just need to, oh, I don't know, just plant down a bunch more leaves rather like so. And then I'm thinking like way around the back, we could have ourselves some fences rather like that. Although actually, maybe I'll get rid of this. Wait, why did that land way over there? <laughs> what? But yeah, here we are. That should mark the end of me having to fence this area off. We just need to make sure there's no areas where the pandas might be able to jump out. Only if I could jump out, then the pandas will be also able to jump out. So for example, right here, maybe I just put down another leaf. I mean... Why not? <laughs> but yeah, aside from that, that should be just about it. These guys shouldn't be able to get out. I mean, not unless they jump on here and they go across the fence. I mean, I guess that is a possibility. Although if I do that, 
maybe we can eradicate that possibility. So, ladies and gentlemen, already we can go ahead and we can finally free our pandas. They can now go and do whatever they please. We just got to make sure we don't accidentally hit them because that would be pretty poor and pretty sad, actually. All right, very good. So they're running around. They seem pretty happy, which is amazing. Now what we need to do is we need to start adding some features in here. It is a very, very large space. I'm thinking maybe we could get away with a little bit of a lake, maybe a couple of tents. The tents, of course, being a nod back to season two of Python's Mod. Some of you guys may remember that. Oh, good grief. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. And get out of here. But yeah, still lots of stuff to be done, my friends. So how's about we usher in a new day and we start getting on with, oh, let's say a lake first. I think a nice little lake would go very nice around here. So here's my thinking, my friends. I have fashioned a lake out of this area here, which is eventually going to have like, you know, a new little house here. It's going to be like a fishing pond, essentially. But since there's a water source here, I don't really feel like we need a water source like down here, for example. I'm thinking we put it at the top end here so we have sort of more spread out lakes. So yeah, right up here, I think would be a fantastic place to do this thing. So, let me go ahead and do just a little bit more landscaping here, and then, yeah, we should be able to make ourselves a nice, easy lake. Here we are. I think this is going to be a pretty decently sized lake, maybe even to the point where we might be able to make something in the middle of it, perhaps. I don't know. Or we could just have it be a nice little pool for the pandas to have a bit of a splash in. Alrighty, and here we go, my friends. Slowly taking form is this new little pond here. As you can see, I've tried to make it look as natural as possible by adding multiple different levels to it. And, well, as a result, I think it doesn't look too bad. Real quick, my friends, I just want to take this opportunity just to say that if you are still enjoying the series and you want to continue supporting it and you're excited to see more, do be sure to head down beneath the video and spend a second to drop a like. It really does help out myself, the channel, and the video enormously. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here and you don't want to miss out on my future content. And if you do want to go one further with your support, of course, use code Python and ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs for 5% off. So there we have it, my friends. One large pool now in the panda enclosure. Very, very good. Right, I think the next thing we might want to do is maybe try and add some little pathways because I want to be able to come in here as well. Maybe I can come in here. Maybe I can breed the pandas every now and again, you know? And then, of course, I can seek refuge in the upcoming tents should I want to as well. You know what, my friends? I just had a pretty awesome idea. We got ourselves a little bit of an entrance here. Maybe we can have ourselves like a little mini bridge going over our new pond here. Ah, I think that'll look really, really awesome. And then, yeah, the pathway would continue from here. Maybe we can have ourselves one, maybe two more entrances as well. And then we should be good to go. Hmm. Do we or do we not have enough space to squeeze in a little bit of tent action back here? I would like to hope so. Maybe we can try to add in a little bit of an area here. All right, so here we are. We've got ourselves a little bit of a plot next to the lake here. And this is going to be where one of the little tent shelter thingies is going to go. Needless to say, I think we're going to wind up using brown wool for this because I think it would blend it really quite well with the eventual surroundings. We're going to have ourselves a bunch of pods, all, cocoa beans, jungle trees, all that kind of stuff. So I think brown wool would work quite well around here. What are we thinking around the back here, eh? I've made myself a bit of a circle. I'm thinking maybe it could be like a giant circular gazebo kind of thing. I mean, again, it would mostly be brown wool, but I think a little gazebo down here would work pretty well. It could, again, double up as a bit of a shelter for the pandas, should it be raining, like it is now. These poor sons of guns are getting all wet. All right, be gone, foul rain. Go on, bye-bye. We've had lots of rain in Britain lately. I could do without it in video games. Come on now. <laughs> All right, very good. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I've got myself a bunch of pathways installed. We don't have too much going on in the sort of back center area here, but I think that's just because I think what I'd like to do here is maybe restore a bit of a bamboo forest. But I think the first thing I need to do for this middle bit is maybe plant down some two-by-two -two jungle trees, and then we can go at it with the bamboo. Boo. 
Because, I mean, these guys need food at the end of the day, don't they? The first thing we need to do, though, is we need to replace a whole bunch of these grass blocks with Podzol. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we usually have as the bedding for any kind of bamboo jungle, right? We have ourselves a bunch of Podzol. All this random grass here. I don't think it works too well. There we are. Looks a little bit more tidy here. So all this pods on would be where the bamboo jungle goes. We've got all of the sort of regular grass here. This could be where maybe some regular jungle can go. And then obviously the interior over here is mostly going to be replaced anyway. So we don't need to worry too much about that being untidy. So yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go here, folks. All right. I got a little bit of a plan with this gazebo. With the floor, we're going to have ourselves some of these bamboo mosaic blocks along the outskirts here. And then in the middle, we're just going to go ahead and have ourselves some regular bamboo planks. I could be wrong, but I think this is only the second ever time in this whole world that we've actually used bamboo blocks. I think the first time was in the winter house, in the winter project, uh, way up there. So... Yeah, when it actually comes down to it, we're still fairly new to using bamboo blocks here. But you know what? I'm absolutely here for it. We've got plenty of blocks of bamboo from all of the bamboo that we've harvested throughout the course of this world previously. So I don't think we need to worry too much about running out. All right, here's my plan. We go ahead and plant down some bamboo, but we only let it get to a certain height, right? And then what we'll do is we'll start going at it with the brown wool as sort of the roof rim and then on the inside we may go ahead and use some more of these bamboo wood blocks right so yeah we're using the actual bamboo stalks as part of the build itself so we'll have a healthy mixture of brown and green going on here yeah. Alrighty, my friends. I have been a busy, busy little bee. There's about 5,000 dudes on the other side of this fence, apparently. <laughs> Let me just wait for them to burn out, and then we'll have a bit of a look and see what we've done. Oh, you son of a gun. That Enderman uprooted the bamboo. I'm in disbelief. Enderman will literally be able to destroy my little gazebo here. What absolutely disgusting behavior. I mean, seriously. So, yeah. Maybe Podzol we really can't use as a building block, eh? Ah, rats. But anyways, before I was rudely interrupted by the destruction of my new gazebo here, I was going to show you that this is what we got going on. We got ourselves some bamboo trap doors here. We got ourselves a bunch of brown wool and the roof is nice and low. Well, low in that, you know, it doesn't go up to like a really, really high central point. I think it works quite well as a gazebo in terms of design. Yeah, we just need to figure out the Podzol situation here. Something like this, perhaps? I mean, yeah, I kind of appreciate the green added to the area. I think that's always a nice thing to have. But on top of it, I guess we're going to have to put, what, bamboo fences or something? Maybe spruce fences? I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out just yet. I think we've got ourselves a pretty good looking thing going on here. We've got ourselves a nice wide entrance. So not only I can get in, but the pandas can get in as well, should they want to. We've got some little fence windows going on. We've got corner posts. It's all looking rather marvelous. I think once we get ourselves a lantern or two in here, this place will pretty much be done. The question is, do we want to put anything inside this though? I mean, maybe we could grow some bamboo. I mean, at the end of the day, like I said before, the pandas need food, right? So we've got some bamboo growing in here, but how about just having some little bamboo sort of bales just sort of stored all over the place? There we are. Nice little open panda enclosure. <laughs> well, a sheltered panda enclosure area at any rate. Yeah. I think we've done a pretty good job there, folks. All right, so with that done and dusted, I'd quite like to get this little mini survival tent done. And then after that, we can start getting to work on Operation Restore the Wildlife. In fact, maybe if I just sort of follow this guy along. Go on, buttons. Go inside of the panel enclosure. Go on. You know you want to. 
You know you want to. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, it's so adorable, though. Yeah, I mean, as tents go, this will pretty much do the job, I think. So, yeah, we roll on in here. There's a little bit of space for some resources. Maybe we could put down a bunch of barrels for storage. Maybe we could put down a bed at the back here, etc., etc., so on and so forth, just so we ourselves have got ourselves a bit of a shelter in here. So, we've got a shelter in here. The pandas have got a shelter in here. Oh, it's, it's lovely. All right, next thing to tackle. We're going to get this bridge done, and then once the bridge is done, that is it. It really will be a case of Operation Restore Wildlife. So, I think for the most part, we're just going to have this be a nice low bridge. I mean, we're not exactly going to be having any boats come across here, are we? So, I don't think we need to worry about that side of things. I'm thinking we go with Bambi Wood, rather similar to down there, and then just put some supports in the water, put some trapdoors up, and that'll pretty much do it, I guess. So then, ladies and gentlemen, what do you make of this bridge here. And look at that, the panda is actually in the water swinging around. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so excited to start populating this panda enclosure with more pandas. I mean, we've got two so far. We can breed them up. We can make a panda empire. <laughs> oh, it's going to be fantastic. But yeah, check it out, my friends. This is the design I came up with for this bridge. It's still relatively basic, but I've tried to add in a few decorations here and there. We've got like a central supporting pillar with some flower pots. And I've even made some larger supports which have lights on them. Hey, I mean, come on. This is pretty awesome. And as we clearly just saw just then, pandas can still swim underneath, which is just brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely chuffed. I really, really am. All right. So with the structures and bits and bobs done, the time has come for Operation Wildlife. So then I'm thinking a jungle tree in this corner. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, perhaps one over in this corner next to the lake again. Yeah, all right, very, very good. And then we've got what, four more that we can do. Ah, might need more than four though, if I'm being honest with you. Let's go and do another one. There we are. Oh, that's actually quite a nice one. Yeah, it sort of dangles over the bridge here, doesn't it? I mean, all we need to do, hang on, it just got to get rid of the vines there. And then we won't have to worry about having to do any housekeeping. Is there by any chance any space at the very far back here for a jungle tree? Um, in a word... No. <laughs> There's literally no space whatsoever. We've got a potioned up spider here as well. Hmm. I don't think I like the fact you've got potion effects. Why don't you go bye-byes there, son? Alrighty, back to it there, my friends. We'll have a jungle tree right there. We'll have one, uh, let's say, just about here. Another one down here. And ideally, I might have wanted another one just sort of over here. It looks a bit bare over here. I mean, we could always grow some one by one jungle trees. That would probably... Oh, hang on. I don't think this one is going to grow. All right, no matter. Maybe here we can have ourselves a one by one then. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's still very, very tall. <laughs> All right. Looking good, baby. We got ourselves a whole bunch of jungle trees. One by one and two by two. So we're going for a relatively dense jungle. But that's not to say that we're not going to get ourselves a whole bunch of bamboo in here still. Don't you fret about that. I've got loads of bamboo to plant. All right. So just got to wait for all of this to grow. And I think it's going to look really quite good. I've just realized something. If we have a super, super dense bamboo jungle here, then the pandas won't really be able to navigate through it, right? Hmm. Maybe along the pathway here, we could have ourselves maybe slightly less dense bamboo jungle. Yeah, I feel like that might be a good idea. I mean, at the end of the day, we want the pandas to be able to, you know, get around and be able to get to the pond, for example. So, bamboo jungle has been restored. How's about we start going to town with some booties? Oh, well, 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 look who we've got spawning in already. Little bit of ocelot action, is it? <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. This is what I'm on about with Operation Wildlife, though. We just get natural dudes to start spawning in here again. Ah. Oh. Absolutely love it. I really do. We're almost there. We've got the bushes pretty much sorted out. 
How's about we start going to town with the bone meal? And this time, I really don't mind if it looks sort of overgrown and unkept. I mean, it's a jungle for crying out loud. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is this looking overgrown or is this looking overgrown? Oh my word. Okay, right. Uh, wait, there's a little bit of a blank space over here I could probably do something with. Okay, very good. Right, do we want to try to squeeze in some lighting through this central pathway here. Only it is very dark. I do feel like it's needed, if I'm honest. We grab out some more lantern boys, and then we start going to town on this thing. So maybe we could just start putting these things in. Just start spreading them around rather like this. I mean, we don't need to go too much more extravagant than this, I don't think. So there we have it. And then maybe one just right here at the entrance as well. There we go. Nice little bit of lighting, my friends. It goes a long, long way in a build. It really, really does. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are just about ready to call this panda enclosure finished. Oh, man. It has been such a long time coming, us getting this area done. And we've finally gone ahead and got it done. We're only 96 episodes into the series. We finally got it done. <laughs> Oh, craziness. Absolute craziness. Although, just to ensure that we're making this look like it's, you know, blended into the area, maybe we could start bone mealing the edge here. So then, with the panda enclosure finally done and dusted, what we could start doing now is putting away a whole bunch of stuff. You know what? That actually didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it would to uh, pack everything away there. What I want to do is I want to check this thing out from a... Far? Question mark? I say question mark because actually I don't think we're going to be able to see a great deal of it from the uh, tops of anything because there's too many trees in the way. <laughs> oh no! First world problems and all that. Wait, uh, maybe if we go on here? Nah, it's just going to have to be one of those things where you admire it from the floor. Eh? Yeah. Oh, this is fantastic, though. What we need to try and do is we need to try and get both of the pandas together. And then we can start on our panda breeding empire of epicness. But they seem to be separated and sort of doing their own thing at the minute. Are you stuck, Caroline? Are you stuck there? I don't really know. Can you, like, go back under? And, like, over this way? Yeah. Okay, so you're not totally stuck. You just seem to be hell-bent on hanging around underneath the bridge like a little troll. <laughs> so then, before ending the episode, I said that I wanted to show you guys some of the progress that we've been making on the live streams in this world. I think the first thing I'd like to show you is the progress that we have been making towards our 1000 diamond ore mining challenge. This is what we have, and I've already done the calculations, excluding the regular diamond ore, which by the way is pretty damn rare in worlds these days. We have a whopping 74% of our challenge done. We need about 260 more Deep Slate Diamond Doors, and that is it. We will have actually completed this challenge for once. How many worlds have I tried to do this challenge in before and failed? I don't know. But all I know is I'm determined to make this one work. I really, really am. Also, we discovered a few illegal slash super rare ores. We've got deep slate coal, would you believe? And also deep slate copper. Which is more rare though? I don't know. I would maybe suggest deep slate coal is a bit more rare. I'm pretty sure deep slate copper can actually generate slightly below deep slate level. So can coal technically but not by as much as copper, I don't think. So as a result, we're going to go ahead and put both of these things in the Donut Museum. So then here we are at the Donut Museum. There's lots of stuff going on here now, isn't there? Eh? What was the last thing we had? We had the ruined portal notch apple. <laughs> I remember that. I was absolutely chuffed to bits. But there, yeah, there we go. The rare deep slate copper ore and the rare deep slate coal ore. Beautiful. How many slots do we have left here? What, six? Wow. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. The next thing I wanted to show you in the Donut Museum is this. 
ladies and gentlemen, this world is two years old. So as you can see, we've got ourselves some new signs in the Donut Museum. For any of you guys interested, the first year stats for this channel, they are right about here. 23,800 subs after the first year and just over a million views, which is pretty awesome. We roll on over to the second birthday signs and check it out. This is what we're rolling with now. 33,700 subs and 2.4 million total upload views. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, guys and gals, thank you so much for all of your wonderful support throughout this channel. We are still going strong. I mean, yeah, sometimes there might be a little bit of time between episodes or whatever, but hey, I always do come back, don't I? So yeah, all is looking well. This world is now two plus years old. <laughs> That is so insane to say. This world has been around longer than Python's world was, excluding the unfinished season four, that is. So, yeah, it's crazy to think, though, isn't it? This world has been around for two years. Wow! Next up, I wanted to show you guys that I've actually been doing some more Operation Restore Wildlife in that the Emerald Bank here is now properly, finally, finished. We've got ourselves a bunch of etho trees around here. Etho trees defined as being trees that basically have lighting in them. At least that's where I saw this idea being done first, via etho. So, uh, yeah, that guy's an absolute legend, by the way. <laughs> So, yeah, as you can see, lots and lots of foliage. Basically, we've just tried to make it look like this place has been here for ages. I mean, strictly speaking, it has been. But, yeah, we've now got a bunch of wildlife around it as well. We've done the exact same with Project Pokemon Librarian Edition. We've got ourselves a bunch of wildlife going on around here as well. This little intersection is done. And then, on the inside of this place, I have been a very, very busy bee. In that between episodes, I have actually managed to get myself a couple of villagers in here. We've got ourselves an efficiency villager offering efficiency five for one emerald. This is the goal for this entire project. My goal is to try and get every single enchanted book to be able to be purchased for only a single emerald. It's going to take a lot of patience, a lot of cycling through trades. But not only do I have an efficiency trade... But I'm pretty sure if I was to pop on over here, we also have a sharpness trade. For some reason, this one is offering it for five emeralds, but you'll have to take my word for it when I say it was one emerald initially. Maybe I need to trade out some other stuffs first to get myself a heftier discount, eh? And then somewhere else, I've actually got myself... Yep, we've got this guy here who is actually ready to be cured. And then the intention, needless to say, is to get protection four for only one emerald. So yeah, I'll get round to curing that guy very, very soon. But yeah, for now, that's the progress that we have been making. Oh yeah, and one more thing. One more project that's been ongoing for a while, but we've only really made a massive of a man of progress with it lately is this. We have been finally making a load of progress with my nether ice boat tunnels. I mean, as you can see, it's way longer than it used to be, my friends, but... Guess what I'm saying? There's still quite a long way to go. So, yeah. I'm just glad that we're finally getting to these slightly more repetitive slash mundane projects in the form of live streams. And I really, really do appreciate all of the support you guys have been showing on the live stream so far. So, let's get back to base and more to the point to the House of Legends. We've got a bunch of shout outs to give and then the comment of the day. So then, my friends, get ready because this is going to be absolutely insane. Because of the truly insane support in the live streams and because of the insane generosity of certain folks, of which I'll shout them out in just a minute here, as a result of that, check out how many signs there are now inside of the House of Legends. If you can see your name in here, then you're an absolute legend. <laughs> There's so many people here now. It's absolutely crazy. Even at the ends here, loads more people on this side as well. We've got a bunch of names here. We've got some at the end here as well. There's so many of you folks in here now. It's absolutely insane. And just to hammer the point home, if we just go into this book from this line onwards, this is where all of the new members are. So if you are in this book here, 
then you're an absolute legend, and I do appreciate all of the support. However, I will mention the vast majority of the new members here were in fact gifted which is just insane. So if we were to go right to the end here, special mentions, we've got Raymond Lowe for donating a frankly insane amount during the course of my live streams. And then I'd also like to give a special shout out to Toby Phelps for a whole bunch of these donated memberships here. Absolute legends. I just can't believe the generosity even now. <laughs> so check it out. We've got ourselves a bunch of stuff to be done here as well. I will get to these YouTube member rewards bits and bobs at some point. Toby Phelps, for example, was requesting a mending villager to be given his name. And then believe it or not, a whole bunch of the gifted memberships were gifted the tier, which comes with the ability to have your name on a random mob of my choosing. This is going to take some time. Oh my word. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It truly, truly is. I should mention as well, because there are so many shout outs. If I did forget to shout out anyone, then I do of course apologize. I will get to it eventually. You just have to understand there's a lot going on here. Truly there is. <laughs> it's becoming very, very difficult to keep up with everything at this point. However, I do want to give a shout out, of course, to the folks who super chatted in videos as well. We've got Samgies Brecht with the $9.99. I'm pretty sure I butchered the name. I do apologize about that. We've got Toasted Toad with the further $5. And then we've also got Hiking or Hiking with the 5CHF, which I do believe is Swiss Frank. So thank you so much for that, buddy. I do appreciate it. An absolute ton. So then, all that's left to be done now is the comment of the day. Napa Auto Park says the only thing I would change is the center light switched to pearlescent frog lights to match the purple. This is of course in relation to the giant load of glowstone that is currently in the Project Pokemon Librarian Edition build here. Yes, that makes a lot of sense. It really, really does. So I think maybe in the next episode we could add it to our little odd jobs list next to, you know, curing this villager here. So rest assured, it will be done. And I do appreciate the suggestion there, buddy. But you know what else I appreciate? All of you folks for watching today's video. Thank you so much for all of your support. Of course, if you do want to support this episode and this series, if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it, of course, if you would drop a like beneath the video. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content but for now thank you for watching have a great rest of your day and i'll see you folks in the next episode Bye bye